Hey, Boom Hour back here. Um, today we have the Green Alliance trial, and I'm going to do round three and record that. So this Alliance trial, I had a lineup that I kind of liked, and then I experimented a little bit this week and arrived at a slightly different lineup. Um, so we're going to explain why. So I've already changed my weapons around. I'm not going to show that here because um, this is my third round of the night. This is the lineup that I think is the best for this. Um, this Samuel slot, I've tried a couple different things. Um, I started out with Mars. Um, I do think this is a good lineup. Um, this is the one that I used before changing it this week. <laughs> Um, so Mars raises the attack of the two heroes next to him, um, which are Phoenix and Leah, and they're both red, so they do extra damage against uh, green. So this is a good lineup. Um, if you cannot absorb a rage hit, you should use this lineup um, because Mars will lock in the enemy at less than 100% rage at round 10 along with Lady M. I also tried this lineup. Uh, McCarty raises everybody's attack. Uh, obviously, he's an extra red hero, and he has a pretty good attack himself and does poison damage. Um, this lineup is also okay, but I think probably the Mars lineup and also the Samuel lineup are probably both better uh, based on my testing. Um, Samuel I was nervous about because he's plus four. Uh, I did put an apex weapon on him <laughs> um, I, I was concerned trying this the first time if he could even absorb a rage hit at round 10 But if you use Ulrich and you have plus 63 percent defense, he actually can absorb it as you'll see um, I kind of wish I had recorded round two tonight. So round two uh, obviously went pretty well uh, we lasted 57 rounds before Leo was killed. Um, and as you see in this screenshot, you do more damage um, the longer that you go. Um, and it, it was really a shame, because obviously we had that yellow dynamite. If we had kept Lady M alive just a little longer, um, th this really could have been a crazy round. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, I, I will say too the this lineup is pretty easy to pilot um, this lineup is actually pretty hard to pilot <laughs> um, the red alliance trial the lineup I used for that and I have a video on I think that one is hard to pilot but I, I think this is kind of similar difficulty uh, for reasons that we'll get into All right, so as usual, early rounds, um, we just want to start building up some tiles. So let's try to get rid of as many as possible. We'll collect a blue dynamite in the process. Don't really want to waste that dynamite yet if we don't have to. Uh... Not a very good tile set up here. We got plenty of time though, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so we have five rounds left. Ulrich's defense will increase for six rounds, and we need it to be raised at round 10. Um, so we can go ahead and use that. Just ignore that in the background. Okay. Um, Okay, we're going to grab a couple extra dynamites here. Okay, uh, need to get to round 10. And I am going to show you at round 10 uh, why this lineup is so good. So two more rounds. Um, we just want to get rid of some junk. Uh, Get rid of a couple more green. I don't really want to get rid of red. And we'll see why in a minute. 
Okay, so we are at round 10 now. Uh, we're going to absorb a rage hit, but our defense is still plus 63% because we timed that for that reason. So this is where it gets a little complicated. So we're going to use Lady M. So Lady M blocks them from regaining rage. Uh, she also blocks negative status effects for two rounds, which includes Leah not being able to gain rage. So... If you're confident that you can re-rage Leah in those four rounds, you should, because her attack goes up 115%. Um, and red attack going up 115% when we have a red dynamite is pretty good. So 